Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is your boy Pradeep Pastola and as always I've come with something interesting and exciting. Yes, as you all know it, this is the time of new year. This is the time for celebration. So we are going to be very happy to be here. We are going to be here, we are going to be here, we are going to be here, we are going to be अपनी कई नया नया चीज़ और गर्म मने रहा मताती से क्यों कुछ मले कि हमने मले अपने आपला भी यूनिक यूनिक चीज़ और गर्म लाख से and this time this time this time बड़ा रोमांचल चीज़ करेगी सिक्यों मुझे I hope many of you will relate to it because this is the new era the era of technology we have artificial intelligence taking over all of the creative heads programmers hackers इस तो जेनरेशन में आई सके किसी में ना मैं रियली ग्लैड अलग 2022 में इतना योज हो वास्ता जस्ट जस्ट इमेजिन वे वे जस्ट गेटिंग स्टार्टेड यू क्यों जो ला पच्ची गया रहा है ना आई आई रियली कैन टू विटनेस दैट इन फ्यूचर बट फॉर नाउ अलग जैसा चैट जीपीटी बनी एकदम फेमस बाय रखा है my questions would be to AI. And first, Guraj, how can we make this celebration remarkable, worthy, and memorable? And 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 and. Kusir kusir pono sa kinsa comment pono pono la. Just go and subscribe, comment, like, kiki kono mo lakse kono share kono. I love you guys. Let's head towards our topic. What can be the interesting resolutions that you can make for the year 2023? Mm -hmm. There are many interesting resolutions that one could make for the year 2023. Here are a few ideas. One, get fit and healthy. This could involve setting goals for exercise, eating a healthy diet, and taking care of your physical and mental health. Number two, learn a new skill or hobby. Consider trying something new such as a language, instrument, or sport. Number three, volunteer or give back to the community. Well, find a cause that you're passionate about and look for ways to make a difference, whether through volunteering your time or donating resources. Number four, focus on personal growth. Set goals for improving yourself, whether that be through education, self-improvement, for personal development. Number five, spend quality time with loved ones. Make a commitment to prioritize your relationships and spend time with family and friends. Number six, save money or get financially organized. Consider setting a budget and finding ways to save money. Work on getting your financial affairs in order. Number seven, travel or experience. New culture. Make a plan to explore new places and learn about different cultures. Number eight, reduce your carbon footprint. <laughs> Look for ways to reduce your environmental impact, such as by using eco-friendly products or conserving energy. Remember, the most important thing is to choose resolutions that are meaningful to you and that you will be motivated to stick with. Mm -hmm. That's what the AI says. About Merupani Mali Ali El Thapne Wani Tabaile. अलग अति gratitude practice करना सकते हैं जो be forgiving towards yourself and others because you know this this is a quality that can improve you spiritually as well आ तेजी करे और चाहे तब आइले ताना आप घटाओ ना बनी ये वाला resolution रखना सकते हैं जो ताना आप लिए रखी करने वाले खाली हाफ लाये हानी मत ही कर रहा कौन जो ताना आप लीनू मने को तो तो डॉडी रखो कोई लाये आप लिए हाफ मौसम आते हैं रखने जस्ते दो ना यू यू नो इट ऑलरेडी है ना तेम वर्ष है ताना आप लाये अमी सके समा हाँ पर हॉट पन्ने वाला सुम यो नया वर्षा 2023 � क्यों नहीं तो तीस को लाइए तीस को लाइए क्यों नहीं तो पंद्रह केरी 
आफुलाई चिन्ने एकदम कुल बस्ने कुल हुने छिटो इमोशनली ड्राइव नहुने अनि राम्रो कुराहरु पोजिटिभ कुराहरु धेरै सोच्ने नेगेटिभ आयो भने पनि इट्स ओके जान्छ इट्स ओके फर आवर माइंड टु 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 हैव नेगेटिभ थॉट्स इट्स रियली ओके आत्मक सोच भनेको जस्तो कहाँ एउटा आउनु नि हामी सबै पोजिटिभ नेगेटिभ चीजले भरिएर नै बनेको छ वी जस्ट नीड टु नट रिएक्ट अन द नेगेटिभ थॉट्स हामी अरु के गर्न सक्छौ वेल हामी पढ्ने भने बसाल्न सक्छौ यु क्यान सेट रेजोल्युसन टु फिनिस फोर अर फाइभ बुक्स दिस इयर इभन मोर इफ यू क्यान तपाईँको आफ्नो क्यापेसिटीले भ्याउँछ पढ्न सक्नुहुन्छ धेरै पनि यु नो इट अलरेडी वट आई मिन येस त्यही दैट्स राइट त्यसै गरी अब एउटा भनौँ न नयाँ ल्याङ्ग्वेजहरू पनि सिक्न सक्नुहुन्छ अघि भनिहालेँ मैले नयाँ चिज गिटार बजाउन सिक्न सक्नुहुन्छ तपाईँ अरू कुनै स्पोर्ट सिक्न सक्नुहुन्छ खेल्न सिक्न सक्नुहुन्छ ब्याडमिन्टन टेबल टेनिस चेस यु नो एनिथिङ अर्को चाहिँ कुनै कुलतबाट पनि तपाईँ छुट्न सक्नुहुन्छ यदि तपाईँकोमा छ भने है अब त्यो सामान्य नङ टोक्नेदेखि लिएर तपाईँको स्मोकिङसम्म किन नहोस् इफ यू वान्ट इफ यू डिजायर फर इट यू क्यान डू इट अफ कोर्स मेक अ रिजोल्युसन एन्ड यू विल डू इट आई एम श्योर टेक अ न्यू हबी सिम्पली एउटा नयाँ केही पास टाइम आफूलाई मनपर्ने चिज गर्न मनपर्ने चिज आविष्कार गर्नुहोस् खोज्नुहोस् मलाई के गर्नु मनपर्छ एउटा माइन्ड सेटबाट निस्किनुहोस् मलाई म यो अलरेडी यो हो भनेर आफूलाई चाहिँ आइडेन्टिफाई गर्नु छोड्नुहोस् नयाँ नयाँ चिजहरूलाई आफूलाई लेट इट बी मतलब लेट लेट गो विथ द फ्लो मोर इम्पोर्टेन्ट इज टु यु नो इम्प्रुभ युअर कम्युनिकेसन स्किल्स एज वेल तपाईँले अरूसँग बोल्दाखेरि कसरी बोल्ने कस्तो अवस्थामा कसरी बोल्ने कस्तो माहोलमा सुस्तै बोलेको बेसी बोल्ने कस्तो खाले कुराहरू गर्ने ऊ तपाईँसँग इन्ट्रेस्टेड छ कि छैन अथवा जोसँग तपाईँ कन्भर्सेसन गर्दै हुनुहुन्छ उसलाई के टपिकहरू इन्ट्रेस्ट गर्न सक्छ अथवा दुईजना म्युचुअली कसरी राम्रो इन्टरेक्सन गर्न सकिन्छ कुन टपिकमा कस्तो तरिकाले गर्ने चिजहरू विस ट्राई गर्दै जानुहोस् यू नेभर नो तपाईँ यू क्यान बी अ मोटिभेसनल स्पिकर इन फ्युचर जस्ट गेट स्टार्ट इन थाउजेन्ड थ्री आई हेल्प लर अ थिङ्स टु डु गाइज जस्ट मेक इट जस्ट डु इट Ah, moving further. Well, my next question to the AI, the chat GPT, will be, this is the time of New Year, so I'll ask questions about New Year. What is the importance of New Year and how was AD formed? That's my question to the AI. Now let's see what the AI responds is to it. New Year is a time when many people around the world celebrate the start of a new calendar year. The celebration of New Year's Day has been a long-standing tradition in many cultures and societies, and it is often marked with a variety of traditions and customs such as parties, fireworks, and the making of resolutions for the coming year. The importance of New Year is often tied to the idea of a fresh start and the opportunity to begin anew. For many people the start of new year is a time to reflect on the past and make plans for the future. It is also a time to celebrate the end of one year and the beginning of another. As for the AD Anno Domini or the year of Lord. Anno Domini when you say the year of the Lord when you're in English guys. I'll read it again. As for the AD Anno Domini or year of the Lord designation It is used in the Gregorian calendar to indicate that a year is after the supposed year of the birth of Jesus Christ. The AD system was introduced by the monk Dionysius Exiguus, how do you spell that, in the 6th century. Prior to this, the calendar used in Europe was based on the reigns of Roman emperors and the year 1 AD was considered to be the first year of the new era. The AD system is still in use today and is the most widely used dating system in the world. Okay. Let's ask another question to the AI. And the question is, what is the population of Christians in Nepal? Here I doubt because the first time it responded 0.4% and the second time it responded 1.4%. 
एनीवे लेट्स गो चेक दिस आउट व्हाट इट हैज टू से गाइस पूरे विश्वास करने में ना एआई लाइक तो लेट्स लेट्स चेक द फैक्ट अकॉर्डिंग टू द वर्ल्ड फैक्ट बुक एज ऑफ 2021 क्रिश्चियंस मेड अप अबाउट 1.4 परसेंट ऑफ द पॉपुलेशन ऑफ नेपाल Nepal is predominantly Hindu country with Hindus comprising about 81% of the population. There are also significant populations of Buddhists 9%, Muslims 4.4% and Kirats 3.6% in Nepal. The Christian community in Nepal is made up of a diverse group of denominations including Catholics, Protestants, Orthodox Christians and members of independent churches. Christianity has a long history in Nepal with the first known Christian missionaries arriving in the country in the 6th century in the 16th century. However, it has never been the dominant religion in Nepal and Christians have faced periods of persecution and discrimination throughout the country's history. Okay, that's sad to know. I'm sorry. Anyway, despite this, Christianity has continued to grow and thrive in Nepal with many Christians actively involved in social and charitable work and in efforts to improve the lives of their fellow citizens. There are also many Christian schools, hospitals and other institutions that serve the needs of the community and contribute to the overall development of the country. Again, I will say that this is what I have said. What do you want to say? I'll read out to you guys. According to the uh, they question to what is the population of Christians in Nepal? According to the World Christian Database as of 2021, the estimated population of Christians in Nepal is about 0.4 percent. See of the total population, which would be about two lakh ten thousand people. This represents a small minority in Nepal, which is predominantly Hindu. बाकी तो अरुण तेने चल The Christian population in Nepal is made up of a variety of denominations, including Roman Catholics, Anglicans, and various Protestant groups. The number of Christians in Nepal has been growing in recent years due to the efforts of mission organizations and the spread of the gospel through evangelism and uh, community development programs. However, Christians in Nepal face some challenges and discrimination, as Nepal is a predominantly Hindu country and some Hindus view Christianity. as a foreign religion so guys you check out the fact and do let me know in the comment box if the information provided us by the ai is correct or not let's check this out on the google let's do this one more time what is the population of christians in nepal see according to some according to some christian groups there may be as many as 3 million christians in nepal constituting up to 10% of the country's population A report by Gordon Conwell Theological Seminary identified the Nepal Church, the Nepali Church, the fastest growing in the world. Hmm. It's more than three million guys. The Chat GPT like you mentioned. Another year, then this is Chat GPT. Could say. Training program 2021. Ma baako ani thesi sable chay. Isko pure updated chay na. मैं जहांसम लग गूगल ने अलग देखे ये फैक्ट ये ट्रू होगा बिकज यस इंडीड द क्रिस्टानिटी इज ग्रोइंग वेरी वेरी फास्ट इन नेपाल आई डोट नो व्हाट द रिजन्स आर एंड आई डिट इवन नो दैट द क्रिस्टियंस वर पर्सिक्यूटेड इन द हिस्ट्री बट कुड बी आई डोट नो बिकज द पपुलेसन इज प्रिडोमिनेटली हिंदू सिंस द बिगिनिंग Well, never mind. Let's go back to excitement and ask more questions to AI. Anyway, these 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 are very very useful tools, guys. I love to love to chat with GPT. <laughs> love to chat with Chat GPT. Well, now let's come back to the interesting questions one more time. Uh, let's do it. And the question is, what are the proper ways of celebrating new year what what could be the proper ways of celebrating new year let's go check it out ai le bhandi rakho se dherai dimag kina chalaunu bhani jasto to lagcha hai aajkal i don't know if ai is going to take over all of us hmm. one hosting or attending a party many people celebrate the new year by throwing a party or attending one this can be a great way to spend time with friends and loved ones and to welcome the new year with a sense of joy and celebration 
two, making resolutions. Many people take the opportunity of the new year to make resolutions or goals for the upcoming year. Uh, this can be a chance to reflect on the past and set intentions for the future. You see, we already talked about making resolutions, guys. Very actually check on all the players. Bagus, I am actually skip going to video. You part my run. Bagus, I am not going We already talked about resolutions. What resolutions we could make for the 2023, the new year. Well, number three, participating in cultural traditions. Different cultures have their own traditions and customs for celebrating the new year. For example, in some parts of the world, people may celebrate by setting off fireworks, attending religious ceremonies, or eating traditional foods. Number four, taking time to reflect. Some people may choose to spend New Year's Eve or New Year's Day in quiet contemplation, reflecting on the past year and making plans for the future. Five, spending time with loved ones. The New Year is often seen as a time to be with family and friends, and many people make a special effort to be with loved ones on New Year's Eve or New Year's Day. Overall, the most important thing is to find ways to celebrate the New Year that are meaningful and enjoyable to you and those who are with you. Well, I have real serious questions here. Let me ask it to the chat GPT, the AI. And the question is, let the plane pass first. Has it passed? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Go! Go away! <laughs> Just kidding. I don't think that sound is even caught. Anyway, let's get back to the topic. Well, my serious question to the AI now. Now, let's see. I'm giving challenge to the AI. Why is Gregorian calendar valued so much in the world? And what is the science behind every month? Uh, the Gregorian calendar is the mostly widely used civil calendar in the world and is used as the standard for civic and business purposes in most countries. The calendar is based on the solar year, which is the time it takes for the Earth to complete one orbit round the Sun. The calendar is divided into 12 months, with each month having either 28, 30 or 31 days. Let's go learn some new things, guys. The Gregorian calendar is valued for its scientific accuracy and the fact that it is widely accepted and used around the world. The calendar is designed to closely match the length of the solar year with the leap year being added every four years to account for the extra quarter of a day. That is indeed to keep the calendar in sync with the seasons. The month of the Gregorian calendar do not have any inherent scientific significance. The names and lengths of the months are arbitrary and were chosen to reflect the cultural and historical traditions of the societies that adopted the calendar. However, the calendar is used to mark important events and observances, such as national holidays and religious festivals. And the months of the year often take on cultural and personal significance as a result. Well, uh, well, let's find out what is the meaning of a different month's name, okay? Now, we have all the January, February, March, April, we have all the names of them. What is the meaning of them? I am very excited. We are all the same. 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 We are all have their origins in a variety of sources including mythology, ancient Rome and other cultural uh, cultures and societies. Here is a brief overview of the meanings of the names of the months. 1. January Darling Named after the Roman god Janus who was the god of beginnings and transitions. See? Janus is the Roman god. February derived from the Latin word Februm, which means purification. March named after the Roman god Mars, who is the god of war. Okay. April derived from the Latin word Aperi, 
which means to open and it's thought to refer to the opening of birds and flowers in the spring. Mm. May, named after the Roman goddess Maya, who was the goddess of fertility and growth. Maya, Maya, gulabi tare chule sare chule. Ah, yeah, that's that Maya. June, named after the Roman goddess Juno, who was the goddess of marriage and childbirth. Juno, okay, Juno, not Juno, Juno. July, named after Julius Caesar, who was born in July, okay. August, named after Augustus Caesar, who was the first Roman emperor and who was, the, and who was born in August. These two uh, emperors are considered to be the greatest of Romans. I don't know. September, derived from the Latin word septem, which means seven, and it was seventh month in the Roman calendar. October, derived from the Latin word octo, which means eight, and it was the eighth month in the Roman calendar. November, derived from the Latin word novem, which of course means nine. And December, derived from the Latin word decem, which means ten, and it was the tenth month in the Roman calendar. Well, guys, what what an informative video i'm i hope i made it interesting as well i hope i don't know yet you need to tell me that on the comment box down below guys i'm sure you will do that you need to do that please do that let me know about how am i doing and let me give chances to improve give, give some space give some room you know, um, I'm looking forward to that. To the uh, constructive um, comments and suggestions, guys. I'm really so thankful that you are watching me on my channel, and I'm really thankful that you have given your time and all your love. Thank you so much. I'll catch you in the next episode. You know what to do once again. Just go and hit that subscribe bell button. And just get get notified by all of my videos. Thank you so much, guys. Take care and have a happy new year. I wish you a merry Christmas. I wish you a merry Christmas. I wish you a merry Christmas and a happy new year. I wish you a merry Christmas. I wish you a merry Christmas. I wish you a merry Christmas. And a happy new year. I wish you a merry Christmas. I wish you a merry Christmas. I wish you a merry Christmas. And a happy new year. Yes. Let's do it. Happy new year. Hasta la vista, baby.